Bless your heart, what do you think you'd like? I was uh, born and raised in Michigan. I love the state, I love its beauty, and I'm very familiar with it. I'd read the books and it'd be related with, you know, a murder in Traverse City and we vacation there every year and can imagine Lou Searing trying to solve a murder. I've traveled throughout the state extensively. I found the settings and the towns and the scenery all to be conducive to a good story. We were amazed to see this book with Boyce Blank Island on it. We're right there on Boyce Blank Island. Up to the booth come a couple of young boys who live on the island year-round, go to the school on the island. They're the only students in the whole school. And that red dot's okay. the school. So what an experience for them. Come down from Boy Blanc Island, down to here, meet lots of people, and then see my book and say, that book's about where I live. He was nice enough to give them an autographed copy of the book, and we're overjoyed. I call my series uh, Hardy Boys for Adults. I keep my books free of profanity. It's my style. It's just important to me. It's just the way I write. That appeals to a lot of people. I like the fact that he's done so much background on it, and he brings you right into it. In all the books that I've read, I've only figured out who's done it once. All the other times, I guess, and I've been dead wrong. If it wasn't in Michigan or if it wasn't places that I knew, it's still a good mystery book, even if it took place anywhere else. I try to figure it out, but usually I'm not able to till the very end. I've had a couple of instances where people say, I haven't read a book in years, but I decided to try yours and I read the whole thing, and that makes me feel good. But every time uh, Mr. Baldwin comes out with a mystery book, I'm always right on it right away. I love the series. I've had a great time. I'm not from Michigan, so I've learned a little. I'm an avid reader, which is kind of fun when you find a new author and then you want to read everything they've ever done.